Fabulous executive living bordering Oak Mountain State Park. Colleen and David Black, Keller Williams Realty, 356-5412. Call on Colleen. This is the Weather Extreme video for... Monday morning, the 13th of July. James Spann here, and a pretty good chunk of the state has really had some beneficial rain over the past uh, 12 to 18 hours. Not everybody, but a lot of people, and it uh, looks like we could see more as the day progresses. Let's look at the uh, images out there this morning. This is at 5 o'clock. That's the Clanton Sky Cam. Looking down on Chilton County, uh, that's the uh, Clanton City Hall down below, raining there. There's the Inverness Sky Cam up at the Wingate Inn overlooking 280, Highway 280, and a new batch of storms just moving in there. And from Gadsden, we can barely see the lights of the city down below, and parts of uh, Etowah County have picked up three inches of rain since this time yesterday. Goodness. Well, there's the uh, water vapor satellite shot this morning. You can see the parade of thunderstorm areas coming down from the northwest. Uh, through Alabama, North Mississippi, Western Tennessee, where we're just in a spot where these things are blowing right through here. Very few of them are severe in the classic sense. Remember, you've got to have three-quarter inch hail or larger or winds of 58 miles per hour or greater. And most of these don't have that, but they are producing a tremendous amount of thunder and lightning and heavy rain. There's the radar this morning at 5 o'clock, and again, uh, uh, it is pouring over parts of East Central Alabama from uh, near Prattville back over to Lafayette. And you can see the new storms up in northwest Alabama, northeast Mississippi, coming right down the uh, right down the pike there. And that will be producing more heavy rain for places like Birmingham. Look at the storm total coming off of the Birmingham next rad. And the heaviest rain over the past uh, 24 hours from near Huntsville down to Gadsden and Anniston. And some spots in there have gone over three inches. The Birmingham Metro doing just fine. Uh, in fact, at my house, I've picked up over two inches of rain in North Shelby County. But if you live in Tuscaloosa, you got to feel jinxed because they've had basically nothing. But there's a reasonable chance Tuscaloosa will get wet today. Those areas over in West Alabama that have missed it. You can see Fayette, Tuscaloosa, Gordo, Reform with hardly anything there. Uh, the convective outlook for today, there's a slight risk of severe weather. And notice how the uh, the area is shifting a little farther south from near Tulsa down to Little Rock, Jackson, and Demopolis. But still, there could be some active storms elsewhere across the state. And remember, a lot of these summer storms are just not severe around here in the classic sense. Also a slight risk up north and also on the North Carolina coast. Tomorrow, a slight risk up north. And again, there could be a few storms down here. We think they will be thinning out tomorrow. The uh, main risk area for places like St. Louis, Kansas City, Des Moines, Chicago, Milwaukee, and Minneapolis, St. Paul. And on day three, the uh, risk area stays up north. Here's the QPF chart. And boy, nice to see us in the bullseye for a change. After some uh, pretty dry weeks. Now remember, this counts the rain we had last night. This is effective from 7 o'clock last night until 7 o'clock Friday evening. And uh, already some spots have picked up three inches of rain. But again, you can see for uh, Tuscaloosa, if you missed it, don't worry. A pretty good chance you'll get wet today. And quickly in the tropics, just wanted to show you, it looks like the wave train is beginning. Uh, with a wave coming off the African coast. And, uh, you know, we're not too far from the uh, Cape Verde season where you can get those things out there. Now, we're still early for that, but just... Interesting to note that the waves are coming off now. We'll start watching those. Here's the GFS, the OZ run ballot at 1 o'clock today. The heat bubble being suppressed off to the west and a nice trough developing over the east coast for now, pushing a surface boundary down through here. The surface boundary is set up a little north of us. Uh, we're not going to really get into dry air this time. But again, we think that we'll have a number of passing showers and thunderstorms today. Now, tomorrow, the heights begin to go back up, so we think the showers will be thinning out, and by Wednesday, the 594 ridge is back over us. So tomorrow and Wednesday, yes, there could be a few showers and storms, but they should be very widely separated. But Thursday, the trough begins to rebuild as a weakness develops in that ridge, and down below that, that looks like we should see a marked increase in showers and storms. In Friday, a pretty good-looking trough is over the east, while the heat bubble is over the four corners, 
And again, that looks relatively wet with a surface boundary coming in from the north. So we'll see a decrease in showers and storms tomorrow and Wednesday, but they should increase again by Thursday and Friday. And Saturday starting off the weekend, look at that nice trough. Good to see that in midsummer. Surface boundary Saturday easing into Alabama. And if this is right, uh, Muscle Shoals could be dry Saturday. Still a good chance of showers and thunderstorms, uh, say, from Interstate 59 South. And then Sunday, much of Alabama gets in dry air. And by golly, if this is right, and that's a big if, this is mid-July, you know, the humidity would be lower, nights a little cooler. And Monday of next week still looks fairly dry. So, again, we'll just wait and see if that all pans out. We'll lean that way in the forecast for now. And the end of the forecast, this out there at late month, the 28th of July. Pretty much the same deal. There's a weakness in the ridge here. And again, that would suggest a fairly soupy air mass with uh, at least scattered showers and storms around. So again, the good news, I've got no really super-duper long-lasting severe heat waves showing up around here. And it looks like we are going to get some good rounds of rain along the way. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.